Hey guys, it is I, Martin Corr, and I've got a few things I want to talk to you guys about. Number one, it's the eve before I graduate, so by the time you guys see this, I will be almost grad. Like the ceremony's at like one in the afternoon, and this will go out at noon. So give me a couple hours, and then I will have graduated. So here's my here's my cap, so you guys can see how just amazing it is. Apparently, all the tassels are like different colors depending on your major. So mine's silver because apparently silver is the color of communication. So I don't know if I can know. But um for first thing I want to talk to you guys about is this whole one size fits all thing is bullshit. Cause check this out. Hold on. Let's just uh, let's just put this on. And uh yeah I don't think so. Yeah I don't think that's a it's a snug fit. It feels like if this was any tighter it would like off the top of my head. Like there's I'm surprised it stays on. So yeah, also, nobody looks good in these. Not a soul. This is the dumbest hat in the universe, because it's cardboard. Fuck this hat, so. So there's that. Uh, yeah, I graduate <laughs> very, very soon, and I'm, I'm very excited about it. Uh, I did a lot of shit today. Uh, number one, I got rid of the majority of my CDs, sold most of those. I still have a few, and um, my plan is to hopefully drop them off at the radio station. Uh, that's that's the plan. Um, so sometime next week, I'm gonna load them up in my backpack. I'll go up there. I'll call in, go inside, and just put them somewhere with like a note or something like that. I don't know, but um, that's my plan. Two, uh, me and Snickers and uh, Michael from my sophomore year got rid of the couch. It is it is now completely gone, which is a uh, it's a little sad. I'll admit because that couch. Uh, has been in my family, or had been in my family, since I was, apparently, according to my mom, we got it a couple of months after I was born. So I've sat on that couch, and we've had that couch for about 22 years. Um, so it was, there's, there was a lot of memories tied to that couch, and um, I, I've said this a bunch, if I had named that couch, I would not have gotten rid of it because there would have been too much tied to it, but since it remained nameless, I will miss that couch, but not nearly as much as I would have if it was like called Jeremy or something like that, you know. So we got rid of the couch. Um, it was actually kind of a funny story. So the original plan was to do this, there's, there's like, like a college drop off thing for a bunch of students to leave furniture and clothes and food that they wanted to get rid of for others to take. Um, and what didn't um, get claimed by somebody would be donated to like local um, homeless shelters and stuff like that. That was the plan, but um, my friends were only available like later in the day, so we missed it. So we actually ended up going to Goodwill. So we loaded it in the back of the van, but we didn't have any straps to hold the door down, right? Um, so we had a buddy sitting in the sofa, physically holding the door closed as we went to Goodwill. Highly illegal. Um, don't do that, kids. We didn't go on the highway, obviously, because I like, even on the back roads, it was sketchy as hell. But if we hit like 60 miles an hour, that couch just would have gone flying at the end and uh, he would have died. So don't do that, kids. That's, it's very dangerous. Don't, don't do that. Uh, but we managed to get it to Goodwill. No problem. We dropped it off. We went to get, to get some sushi, came back. It was all good and done. So the couch is gone. Um, what's funny to me, uh, personally, since now it's out of my hands, um, is when we dropped it off, the guy was like, are there any rips in this couch? And I'm like, no, no, it's fine. It's totally fine. Cause it has a cover on it. So there's no rips. Uh, once that cover cover comes off, uh, they'll actually find that. Yeah, there's lots of rips. Um, there's a massive one along the back. One of the sofas is just split like right down the middle. Both armrests are ripped open. That's what happens when you have a couch for 22 years. It gets, it gets damaged. So Someone will like it. And as long as they keep the camera on, it looks fucking fine. So it's their problem now. <laughs> so we did that. Um, that's all done and done. Uh, I found a new game to do for a series, and I'm already loving it to pieces. Um, I don't want to... I, I kind of want to tell you. Because there's only like 58 subscribers on this channel, so the fact... No one else is going to know. If you made it to this point in the video, you're going to know that the new series is Final Fantasy VII. And holy shit, is that game good. Games like what 19 years old something ridiculous like that it came out in 97 and it is awesome 
Um, I've only played it for like an hour, but I can already tell that it's going to be an incredible game. So, I'm really excited about that. Uh, that'll be coming out uh, here in a little bit. Uh, yeah, basically, uh, it's going to go where um, Harry Potter was. Uh, and then, once I get my hands on Harry Potter Part 2, that'll replace Overwatch. And then we'll do that, and then we'll do something else after that. Probably not Overwatch again. Um, maybe occasionally. Um, but I, I, I just do better in that game when I'm not recording. But it's a good placeholder uh, series for right now, so... We'll keep that around. And uh, the final thing I want to talk to you guys about, um, because next week it's E3, so there's going to be a lot of video game news, but the final thing I want to talk to you guys about is a show that came on Netflix, uh, in classic Netflix, blam, here it is, style, um, that I was aware of, but didn't know how incredible it would truly be until I finally saw the first episode, and I gotta tell you, that Voltron Legendary Defenders is in Incredible. It is so fucking good. Holy shit. So, the first episode is an hour and six minutes long. It's three episodes stapled together. It's so good. I, like, it's it, it's amazing. I laughed. I actually cried. Not because there was anything sad, but just when there was, like, this reveal of one of the lions, and I'm just like, oh, tears. Just... It's so good. It's done by the same studio that did the majority of the Legend of Korra episodes, Studio Mir. Um, the voice acting is incredible. The music is great. It's five fucking giant lion robots forming a giant fucking lion robot man defending the... Like, it's great. Okay? Here's... I, I've only seen episode one. All the other episodes are half an hour long. So it's about six hours of Voltron. Things I'm looking forward to and hoping for. Um, the tone of the show's a lot like Korra. Um, kids can easily get in there, but it's not super kitty. It's not dumbed down or really childish, um, in my opinion. I feel like there's a lot of room for very serious kind of dramatic storyline. Um, I really hope we get into some more intense kind of things. I mean, the basis, like, save the universe or everyone dies, you know, is, tr you know, there's, that's a serious kind of plot, you know, the death of the universe. It's a big topic, but there's a lot of humor to keep it light. And I, I want, um, what I really want is even, uh, Gellian style interpersonal relationship drama. That's what I want. I want this to really focus on the characters. Um, so that's my hope is that the, the, the relationship between the characters goes beyond um, this kind of two-dimensional kind of thing that's going on right now. All the characters have done really well so far, and they've interacted in pretty um, standard kind of cookie-cutter formatting ways. So they don't necessarily need to break out of that mold, but we just need to go deeper into the characters, deeper into the backgrounds which is standard TV style in terms of like going forward. So that's kind of what I'm hoping for. Given that it's only 11 episodes long, I'd be willing to bet that it's most likely going to focus on an overarching season villain versus kind of slice of life singular episodes with villains. But I think it's going to be like generals and like lower tier um, people of the main villain before we get to the final fight in the finale, which I'm kind of hoping is more than half an hour long. Um, so far, the pacing's been really good, uh, but they did have an hour, so something like that. I don't know. It, you know, I will know more once I finish the show. I don't think we're going to do that tonight because I do graduate tomorrow, um, and I have to be up in like less than eight hours, but I'm definitely going to watch the next one after I'm done talking to you guys. Um, but so far, it's superb like the first like if this holds up this is gonna sh jump straight into like my top five all-time favorite animated shows it's it's incredibly well done i i love it <laughs> i love Voltron. um it's so good i can't wait for season two and i'm not even knowing season one yet but um yeah it's right up there next to Korra and avatar characters are great it looks exactly like Korra, so i love the animation style um and it every now and then it does actually pretty Pretty, um, it was much more common towards the end of the first episode are the classic 
like five people reaction shots where it'll be like, hey, how's it going? Pretty good, how are you doing? Shut up, stop talking. We gotta fight the dude, I'm tired. And they just like pop in. It's classic animation style for what Voltron used to be. So it's Voltron for a new generation and it is awesome. If you have Netflix, which to be perfectly honest, there's so much great content on Netflix, you're really doing yourself a disservice not having it. I know it's a couple of dollars a month, but for fuck's sake, Voltron is worth every fucking penny. Because if I have to say the statement, five giant lion mech suits who form a giant fucking robot dude that defends the universe, and that just doesn't make you instantly rock hard. Something's wrong with you. Voltron is the shit. Fucking love Voltron. I'm gonna go back and watch some more fucking Voltron. And I'm gonna graduate from college because I'm an adult. And I'm gonna finish watching Voltron. And I'm gonna get a big stupid Voltron head mug. I'm gonna drink out of it like a fucking cheer beer. Have a good one, guys.